you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick gas, just like everyone else. Thank Commander, the there's a new message at your private terminal. Somebody. And it's the Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular marine. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Hello, Shepard. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. Sounds like you got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children... Could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose? That's gotta piss him off. What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my C-Sec days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. 
That just means you're old. Hey, Commander. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Another time, maybe. Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Please, enjoy your day. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard... That for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> The Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stop Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kick the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. Jacob, we're both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. If Cerberus wishes to kill their own people, is that such a bad thing? Aren't they all traitors? Perhaps later, Commander. chair or something. I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. 
Let me know when we do. Commander. 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 Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. 
Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Had that female Krogan you rescued survived, she might have rallied more support from the clans, but I'll take what we can get. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Asari? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the Genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about the Rachni? We're giving this a shot, letting whatever it was you saved work on the Crucible. And? Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction, which frankly scares the hell out of me, of everyone. I hope you made the right choice there, Shepard. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Well, like I mentioned earlier, the Turians are getting stretched thin, even with Krogan help. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. We saw Yogg back on Sirkesh. Didn't look too happy. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Any word on the Volus and Alcor? The Turians and the Krogans sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evroom. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight. Though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Do you know anything about the Hanar and Drell? Their luck is holding. For now, the Reapers have avoided a direct invasion of that sector. Though we've heard Drell wet war teams are mobilizing fast to shore up their border with the Solarians. I knew a Drell. The Reapers don't want to tangle with them. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Beyond those reports I mentioned, no. Instability along the Geth border is all we've heard. In this war, that could mean anything. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander.